All right, so see now you want to know how to go fast on one of these here motocrossing bikes. Now the first key to having your motocrossing bike going fast, obviously like I, like I say every single dang time you gotta have your helmet. You gotta have take that visor off. You see, you see them visors. All them visors do is they make you go slow. You take this, cut the visor off of it. Aerodynamics. It reduces drag and reduces arm pump. It's just better all day every day. Now you see, put the helmet on. I'm not gonna put my helmet on yet, it's hot out here. Oh, set the helmet on. Set the helmet out of the screen, out of the way, out of it. Now, what bike of choice right here? 2010 Kawasaki. Kawasaki, that's the best bike you ever gonna see now. It has a KLX 250, 250 SF. SF, now you see there, and that sounds for super fast because this bike goes super fast. And you know how you go super fast on one of these bikes? Is by listening to my tips. My tips make you super fast. Alright, so the first key to anything ever is going to be your start. When you take off on your start, you got to know how to do it. So you got to go fast. I'll show you how to go fast on the start. Now, see, I would be out there on one of them motocrossing tracks, but it rained. Alright, now you see, the next thing that's going to come into uh, be an issue when you're riding a motocrossing bike on the start is what the placement of your hands on the grips and on the levers is going to be. Now a lot of people say, oh you're going to want to do one finger, you're going to want to do two, some people say three, no, 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 no. You're going to be all four fingers. Now four fingers is better than two or one fingers. I mean, no doubt about it, dude. Ask your mom. Four fingers is better. Now, now, as far as your positioning of your arms, I can get back to you in like a second about because I have to move my phone. That'll work. All right. So now, a lot of people are going to be asking, oh, well, where do you put your, how do you hold your elbows when you're doing one of these? How do you hold your elbows when you're doing one of these starts? Now, you see, a lot of the pro riders, they'll run with their elbows up, looking like they're freaking, I don't know, synchronized swimming or something, game like that. They're all like, nah, yeah, you want your, you want yourself planted as far back on the bike as possible. I like to ride on the start, have my feet turned out, kind of back, behind the pegs of course, and I like my arms down. It gives you a good way to grip the levers, because I like my levers high. This lever's really been higher. I like my levers high, like my arms low, and I like to go, you know, the way you do things fast. Now, if my dog would shut up, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to show you, I'm not even going to tell you, I'm going to show you how to start like one of them pro motocrossing racers. Ain't even ready for this. Ah, son of a gun, this thing's heavy. Heavier the better on these bikes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're heavier because they, means they corner better. They hold right into the ruts. Great stuff, great stuff. You don't want to exhaust all your energy lining your bike up on the line. Now you see this is going to be a concrete start. Not too unlike the expanded metal starts as you'd see at a pro super crossing tournament. Or like the concrete starts you may see at say Ponca City National, the single greatest national that's ever been hosted in the entire world. Oh crap, I dropped my phone and it turned on. Yeah, well. Alright, now here it is, the illustrious hole shot. Now here's how you're going to want to do it. We've already been over all the steps, so we're just going to recap them. Alright. Protect the gear on. Alright. Alright, elbows down. Feet back. Turned out behind you. Four fingers on the foot. First year to second, third for Sissy.
that's how you do it. That's how you go fast on one of these here dirt motor crossing sickles. Now don't you all forget, stay tuned for the next video. It's going to be how to mix your two-stroke fuel properly.